shoot! I can't believe I forgot! The most important place in Cinnabar Island. The market. There are items sold here, including Hyper Potions, of which we are going to get a bunch. As well as Max Repel, of which we are also going to get a bunch. Maybe a few escape ropes. Oh, definitely some revives. And added a few full heals. And there we go! Just like that, 40,000 Poké Dollars gone. Hey all, it's Radrad. Rad. Welcome back to Pokémon Blue version. Today we are going to the Ace Gym, but in order to do that, we need to cross the sea. We could very much fly to our destination, but where's the fun in that? Complete your journey. So, full discretion. There are trainers in this area. We will not be fighting any of them. Because I have basically evolved past the need for random trainer battles. But I have not evolved past the need to face Tentacool. So I've leveled up my Pokémon just a bit, just a reasonable level. And while I was doing so, Jolteon learned Double Kick. Which we are not demonstrating on this tentacle because it's poison type, and for some reason... Fighting types don't like to deal with poison. Just have to mind my ways. So, over yonder in this patch of grass up there... Buddy, do you mind? Level 10, honestly. Honestly. In this patch of grass here, you can catch Tangela. Or Eradicate. Eradicate also... Eradicate would also be nice. So, if you missed out on a Venonat to allow yourself to trade for a Tangela, here you go. You only have a 10% encounter rate. Alright, that's red health. There we go. Might as well add in Radicate. Increase my numbers. In any case, this patch of water here was the only thing keeping you from basically taking this journey in reverse. Welcome back to Pallet Town. We're going to take a couple of brief stops through here to say hi to Professor Oak. It's coming along. Professor Oak never really has anything for you. That's for his various aides across the world. His job is to give you a pat on the back. So, a while back, there was a certain gym that was basically locked off because the gym leader was kind of out to lunch. Now oh, we're not fighting at this rate. So we're going into that gym now, because I've heard that the gym leader of Viridian City has finally returned. So that is our last destination before we can tackle the Pokémon League. I think it is really cool that your journey basically ends where it starts. Your journey to get all eight gym badges. At least. I think that that's really cool.
so. Ah, so the rumors were true. Okay, so walk around here. And... It's not like I can just walk over and talk to them. No kidding. I shoved candy down my Pokemon's throat for a reason. Wait, what was that about ground type? Okay, okay, so the trainers do. So this gym has the exact same tile puzzles in Team Rocket's hideout. Careful where you step. And in case you're wondering, yes, fighting is inevitable. But we just need to watch our step as we go in a complete loop. So, ground type Pokémon. Yep, that is certainly a ground-type Pokémon. Yeah, funny thing about Double Kick. They hate poison, but they can break rocks. Also, yes, I am throwing Jolteon at this ground-type Pokémon. Why are you asking? So, with this area, you could actually take a small shortcut. And that shortcut relies on this trainer. This is the one we want to fight. Or rather, this is the one we want to pull down. With that, have you met my Mew? So, such ground-type Pokémon as... The Machop family are due to be encountered here. Don't just assume you'll be able to walk in with a water type or a grass type or an ice type and just sweep the shim entirely. No. A little diversity would certainly help get you through this last trial. So with that, we grab this revive that we clearly needed. And you take this area up northeast, past where this trainer was, and then proceed to walk up to the Viridian City Gym Leader. ground type. So... Victory Bell, you haven't had your chance to shine at all. Let's fix that. Let's see how far we can take this. Wait. Giovanni? 
Well, what do you know? That explains where he was getting the money from to fund Team Rocket, yes! Your eighth and final gym battle is against the former leader of Team Rocket, Giovanni. He starts off with Rhyhorn. Do expect this battle to get a little hectic. Hence why I am putting up growth before I send my Razor Leafs flying. A little buff will not hurt us. Doug Trio, ground type, noticeably fast. Not that it matters, because Giovanni is a bit of a moron. But where's your Tombstoner? That's, that's TM28, right? Okay, main event. I thought you were the main event. I'm so used to seeing a powerful Nidoqueen. Queen. Still, level 44 Nidoqueen. Queen. A lot worth talking about. Oh, nice. I just have to hope for no poison. With the power of growth and a critical hit behind us, the damage we can do from this point is mortal. Yeah, there's basically a reason that we keep Razor Leaf in Gen 1, because critical hits are critical. Absolutely. Even something like this that isn't that effective because Nido King is poison still manages to get the job done. This should be it. Level 50 Rhydon. And he's gone. Giovanni recognizes strength and just gives you the Earth Badge. So now, any traded Pokémon can be dragged into this game regardless of level. we receive TM27, Fisher. A one-hit ground-type move. It is susceptible to the X-accuracy glitch, where your accuracy becomes 100%, but it suffers from being a ground-type move, which means birds can basically literally fly above it. Alright, yeah! We have all eight gym badges at this point. Kind of a shock that Giovanni secretly runs a gym. So again, it does explain where he was getting the money from. Okay then. So, we're going to make some adjustments. Sort of give everybody a chance to shine, and that was mostly Victory Bell's big moment. About time they got one. So, we now have all eight gym badges. We can challenge the Pokémon League. And the Pokémon League is right over here, except we need to do something been bothering the ever-loving crap out of me. TM42, Dream Eater. 
a move that is only effective if the intended target is asleep. Seeing how we have zero access to any sleep moves at all, both of these can go away now. Sorry, Fisher basically relies on a gimmick to bust the game wide open. So we're not going to be using that. With that, we can finally get ready. Because now, we can properly enter into a battle. Well, if you need a Spiro for a trade, here you go. So it's time for us to enter the Pokemon League. Damn it! Hey, the music got faster. Rival battle number seven. Teen Thousand. The levels do not mess around from this point. Level 47 Pidgeot. Still no match for my Jolteon. So with this, you're getting a sneak peek at your rival's team. It is basically a team meant to counteract any and all Pokémon. Or at least any and all Pokémon typing. Remember, it is flying type. Admittedly, could have sent Sand Slash at the Pidgeot, but... You still have it? Alright! It should know Flamethrower by now. What more could you possibly want? Oh, I must be confusing it for a better fire type in this game. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now we get this face off. Level 50 Alakazam. This is the real deal. Psy Beam, Recover, Reflect, Psychic. We're going to stop it as best we can with Thunder Wave and focus its physical defense. Because we know how futile and how tedious the battle of Psychic Blasts will be. Okay. Ninetales, this is your opportunity. Level 53, Venusaur. It is an absolute tank and then some. Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, Growth. If it wanted to, this thing could growth up and then Razor Leaf to its heart's content. Or Poison Powder. You could do that. I like that the music got a little fast. 
monster in that instance. Oh, right! Oh, right! Inevitable death! Sorry about that, girl. Alright. And with that, now we can actually travel across to the Pokémon League. This layout is particularly interesting and honestly triumphant. Each area has eight checkpoints with eight guards that verify whether or not you have the proper badge. I can't think of any other Pokémon game that really does this. It gives you a feeling of general accomplishment and progression. Realistically, you could keep coming back to the Pokémon League area. You don't have to wander here with all eight badges. So you could, in theory, walk up here with the rainbow badge and start fishing. It is a bit odd, but you know, you could do it. So y yeah, you do need the soul badge to even surf on this water. Yes, there are wild encounters in this sea itself. I just found this area to be honestly pretty cool. There, there are a few grassy areas, I believe. Because I think you just, yeah, grassy areas here. In blue, you can come across the Spiro and Sandshrew family. That's really about it. You're a bit more fortunate in, say, yellow version. There's also Ditto in that grass, if you really want a Ditto. Oh, right. Pardon me a moment. I believe there is an item I am missing. Luckily, we can swim on the water, no problem. Oh, right, you have to... The trick here is to surf on it, that way you're facing a max ether. Because otherwise, you'll just be... Otherwise, you'll just more than likely walk over the item you're trying to collect. Alright, moving on. Yeah, this is a really cool area. Just represents your accomplishments and your achievements. And basically... It's a visual representation of how awesome you are. You got all eight badges, so you can move on to the cool area. Welcome to Victory Road. This place is crawling. Crawling with trainers and Pokémon encounters. It's also crawling with strength puzzles. Admittedly, the levels are kind of all over the place, as far as wild encounters are concerned. Some Pokémon you will meet are in their 20s, like your Machops and your Zubats. But in some cases, you'll fight evolved Pokémon in their 40s. 
So, let's start the first major strength puzzle. Hello, Zubat. I would prefer not to waste the action. So, this puzzle must be handled delicately. You will either push a boulder into a position where you cannot interact with it, or you could leave the front area. Hello, Geodude. I love the fact that Jolteon learns Double Kick. It's just the one thing that could really stop all the rock types that Jolteon runs into. Because the uh, at least a fair amount of ground types are also rock types. Geodude, Rhyhorn, those families. So, these strength puzzles. There are barriers blocking your way and shoving the boulders over these red switches or whatever switches they may look, whether or not you're playing a color version. Those switches make these barriers disappear. Alright, so... Level 36 Onyx. Onyx actually has some bite to it. Red health. That's what we're looking for. Yep, that's real nice. Getting the Master Ball. gonna switch out briefly just due to a lot of these encounters poison types rock types they're really meant for sand slash more so so I'm basically saving my strength running off from Pokemon in their 20s. This particular strength puzzle coming up here... If we can get across all of these random encounters, of which there are many... Yellow health. Okay, I didn't want to match up anyway. Anyway, this strength puzzle. The way this is going to end up is that you're going to push this boulder in the way of an item and be unable to collect it. You can only get one of these. The one on the left contains a rare candy. The one above contains TM-43. Sky Attack. The most powerful flying type move in the game. We could teach it to Mew, but anything that Sky Attack could do for us, Psychic does better. Plus, Sky Attack is a chargeable flying move, and unlike Fly, you're still on the screen and vulnerable.
So with that taken care of, sorry. I am getting to the point where a max repel is now necessary. You there. I love this cool trainer design. <laughs> So yeah, the levels here, nothing to mess with at this point. If you aren't ready for the Pokemon League at this point, Victory Road will be more than happy to get you ready. It's this area and the Pokemon Mansion. see any reason. We have a max ether if things get really bad. So the reason that I avoided all those swimmers on Route 23 on my way to Pallet Town is because I knew I had trainer battles ahead of me. More prosperous trainer battles. Oh, hello. Does Ivy sort of standing up on its own two legs? I can't. Ooh, let's see what this does. Sand Slash has pretty bad special. Yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I am not even in the department of dealing with that. Yeah, Cool Trainer's Pokémon are all over the place. Which makes them a battle you actually have to pay attention to. Yeah, most of these are secondary evolutions. Secondary evolutions of the starters. Not final forms. Until you get to Charizard. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about Sand Slash. I was thinking about Rock Slide. I'll put my reputation on the line for this. I think Charizard has impressive amount of speed, and I could see myself... <laughs> Way to prove yourself. Alright, 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 alright. You've earned that Hyper Potion. Alright, Blastoise, we're pulling Blastoise in. Putting you three away. Now, if memory serves, there is actually a strength puzzle, like, like not there, the one on the upper right. You push that in, it will block away an area. That's by design. Yeah, with a block like this, you have to push it a certain way. 
Don't bother pushing it from above. It will get stuck, as you can see. So, majority of encounters here... The Zubat family, the Machop family, the Geodude family, Onyx... And, if you're incredibly lucky... Marowak. So, we're gonna withdraw, because this is gonna be fighting. Ooh, okay. What an answer. X attack on Machoke is no joke. As you'll see by the slow kick. I mean, I'm not that heavy. I'm just a turtle with a big shell. And, you know, I don't know, I didn't sweat the Machoke, so... I would rather not attempt a body slam. Let's just focus on water for water's sake. Yeah, X attack raises your attack by 50%, I believe. Still pretty potent. But yeah, we pushed aside the second barrier. Nine tails. Nine tails, this is your thing for now. Seeing as we're fighting a lot of things with high defense, let's ignore them. Just go straight for special. Up here, you get TM05. Another Mega Kick. At this point, I've already told you how bad Mega Kick is. So, that barrier up there... There's actually a boulder we have to bring down here to interact with it. So we won't be doing so for the time being, which is fine. Ah, smart. Smart. Another rare instance of a trainer actively switching. Ninetales, you got relatively high special. You can handle that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could handle that. <laughs> yeah, ignore double kick. I don't know why psychic types have meditate. Why would they ever? What are you gonna do? Pound on me? I wish Jolteon was at a proper level. Then it could learn another move that it realistically shouldn't know, but... Oh, it do. Do what we normally do with Psychic types, contain... No problem. We were fortunate enough to get the Thunder Wave before the switch, so... That Kadabra doesn't get to live. 
Yep, so what you missed out on is Mew at level 40 would learn Psychic, finally. We bypassed that by teaching it with the TM. Mew's not going to learn any more moves from this point. So this is a kid's game. Here, take it! It's not like I have that much money left. Victory Bell, you haven't done much of anything. You've been resting ever since the Giovanni battle. Let's fix that. Oh, thanks for the extra cash. So, grab here, grab a full heal. Oh, that item, that item, I know, I gotta have it. Mew at the bottom, that way I'm not tempted to use Mew again. Admittedly, this is an area where Mew could come in handy. PM17. Submission. The best fighting type move in the game. Surprisingly, a, l a move that a lot of Pokemon can learn. Including Mew. There we go. That's everything Mew needs to learn. It has its ups and downs. So yeah, level's getting relatively high. Nothing to worry about. So, Double Slap, this move is essentially a lie. A bold-faced lie. There are times where it will hit more than twice. With those two trainers and items acquired, we move on. This boulder will get to you. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, thank you very much. So this is the best Executor can really throw at you in terms of learn set. Barrage. Ooh. Do a little quick attack just to be sure. Loister, well then.
and Arcanine. That's a pretty solid team, all things considered. I mean, I don't particularly like the Executor's choice. I feel like you could do a bit better as far as grass types are concerned. But you know, I'm not the cool trainer. Alright. Another max revive for you. Switching in Jolteon. So, all of our super potions are gone at this point. I sold them to make room for hyper potions. Anywho, this boulder. We need to push this thing away. Just keep pushing it in a straight line until you start seeing a wall in front of you. At that point, stop. Push it one more time. Push it through this hole. Once you hit that wall, Go up, around, push it again until you hit that southern wall. And we're just going to... Okay, fine. I can see you're stopping me for a specific reason. If you notice the bird on the right side of your screen before we entered this battle, don't worry. We're getting there. That is still orange. As you can see, the encounter rate does not mess around. It's noticeably high, but then again, they are getting you ready for the toughest challenge in the game. Now then, the Elite Four of the Pokémon League. I'm starting to think this isn't that much of a league. That's crazy talk. All right, Charmeleon. So, Blastoise in here. Snap our fingers, watch this Charmeleon disappear. Playing with fire doing this. That is a unique move. You don't really see many Pokémon carrying it around, especially in Gen 1. <laughs> Mist is a move that basically prevents your stats from being lowered. 
luckily, we depend on our stats being raised. And what an opportunity to show off Mew's recently learned submission. Yeah, submission is a fighting type move, basically the fighting type takedown. Bit of a low accuracy, but when it hits, it gives recoil upon you. Alright, so two articles over here, a guard spec, and it's just the, the encounter rate never ever stops under any circumstances. Over here is our third and final bird. And we'll be knocking it down to red health and catching it next time. Where we bring the final bird into our party and escape Victory Road once and for all. See you later! <laughs>